Hey guys and girls out there, welcome back to Heavy Rain. If you can't tell, right off the bat, I have a new mic, and I think it's I think it's going to sound much better than the old one did, where I could barely be heard in this, especially. And I this will be my third time recording this because the first two times I had a lot of technical difficulties, so I think that's Fate's way of saying record it with the new mic. So here we go. Do you think it's going to take long? No, he should be finished soon. Now we're just waiting. We can do several different ways of crossing legs. Exciting gameplay. I'm excited with this new headset. I think it's really going to make a big difference in the audio quality. If you can tell, if you can tell there's a difference in the audio quality, you should comment and let me know. Just to say, hey, it does sound much better. You're right. And I'll be like, cool, I thought I was right. I love being right. Now we're going to play some virtual ball. The tank would probably be a bad option, though. So, we're going to play virtual ball. I don't even know what the other one was. This can pick up even the, like, the slightest noises from my mouth. I might have this mic too close to my head. Or maybe too far. Just throw down. Bounce. Do it three times and you get a strange look from someone. You see? That guy's like, what the hell is he doing? Just gotta keep throwing it, keep passing time, until eventually the police guy comes out. Let's put away the glasses and just go back to leg crossing. Maybe he'll show up. You gonna be here yet? Alright, let's go into thoughts. Yeah, here we go. God, I'm bored. I hate having nothing to do. You and me both, sister. Let's get and the patient. formalities out of the way so I can get back to some real work. I could go for Ari. a little Larry time right about now. Perry. Oh, here he goes. Awesome. Awesome. I'm awesome. off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Hi. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as no we problem. walk. No problem. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, now it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, yep. we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. Have I'm our sure way, we'll jeez. Well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? Nope. I guess. I can try. To be frank with you, I, I could have done without the FBI times, on this one, but two. the press so let's all see if over I can get us. this origami three three killer case crept up I'll on us and it's fast becoming one. a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this oh, country. Damn it. What do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get on us. No. Oh. Of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress and yeah, fast. Yeah, I did the it. Press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna I have to so. serve him up on a silver Damn platter. Damn straight. Hmm. I'm good not at tie bad. ties. I'm apparently a pro. Oh, go see Charlie, and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. Whenever I hear the name Charlene, I always think of Stephen Colbert's Charlene Stalker song. It's truly a Charlene anthem. You should go listen to it if you haven't heard it. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Let's watch the press conference. Where should I sit? I'm gonna sit here. It's the only open chair. I'll sit back and let him talk. The body of Jeremy Bowles was found this morning on a patch of wasteland in the East End at about 6.30 a.m., five days after he was reported missing. An autopsy will be conducted tomorrow to determine the origami killer, the investigating killer. The investigation should confirm this in the coming days. The police are continuing to work around the clock. 
to find the murderer as quickly as possible. I'll field some questions. Yes. You said the methodology indicated another victim for the origami killer. Can you be more specific? I don't understand why they're taking so many pictures. An origami One figure picture was found in the victim's hand, and an orchid was placed on his chest. His face was covered with mud, but there were no visible traces of violence to the body. Go ahead. Uh, the Zodiac Killer was never identified. Perhaps the origami killer will never be found either. <laughs> I don't think there's much chance of that. For the moment, the killer may think he's invulnerable, but in the end he'll make a mistake and we'll be there to arrest him. Yes. Did the killer leave any written evidence? Perhaps a ransom note explaining his actions? Or anything like that? No. He has not made contact in any way, and we have only the murders to help us understand his motives. That's not a lot of help. Yes. What's the question? Some people are saying that the police were slow to take an interest in these murders because the victims lived in poorer parts of the city. What do you say to that? That's absurd. The police make no distinctions between victims based on their social class. It is true that the origami killer seems to choose his victims from the more impoverished parts of town. The higher crime rate in these areas makes the investigation more difficult. Get the audio crisscrossed. Yes. There are rumors that the FBI has sent a profiler to help with the investigation. Is that true? You seem to be well informed. Right here, yes, guys. we asked the FBI to send us a profiler to help us with this investigation. We were planning to announce this I in the be next able to few days, my but hand it seems like, that won't I'm right here, guys. According to certain sources, the town hall's been applying pressure to avoid any mention of a serial killer in order not to have an adverse effect on the mayor's election campaign. Do you have anything to say about that? Pure speculation. At no time has the mayor been involved in this investigation, except to support the efforts of the police force, of course. That's it. Thank you for your cooperation. One question, please, He's sir. Like, nope. One last question. Not take the question. Carry one anymore. more question, please. Now we're gonna go see Charlene and get some water. I'm dying of thirst. I'll go find. Where's the water the cooler when you need one? Blake. I saw Blake when I arrived. Maybe I should go talk to him. This investigation is starting to give me the creeps. Get a hold of yourself, man. Cases front page Let's news in all the papers. It's not gonna be easy investigating a crime under the glare of all this publicity. I really think this mic is going to give me a significant increase in the, how good the quality of my voice sounds. People say good things, especially when I eliminate the static that is there. But that should be, that's really simple. It's just noise removal and audacity. It leaves my voice pretty much untouched because the mic is so good. And it should get rid of the background noise from the TV too. I'm right behind you now, Charlie. That was a little bit of it. The Colbert song. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Oh, if you insist. I'm just going to be so rich and... Rich and... Um, Mr. Congratulate Larry on my yeah. behalf. I'll that be sure to do that, went, sir. I'm taking too long trying to think of what to say. Like the guy in the Captain Perry said you could show Christmas me to Carol. my office. Yes, of course. Follow me. Can't think of his name. The office is over there. Do I want to wait though? Go see Agent Jaden, are you coming? I'm sorry. I see Blake. I'm just gonna go talk to him. To hell with it. Hey. Blake. You jerk face. Talk to me. Fine. Who needs you? Sorry. Keeping you waiting, Charlene. Feel like a big jerk. This? His office is this terrible. This is my office? It's a walk-in closet. 
That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Look at his expression. He's just mouth agape, like, what?